free line in assault defend mode. I'm going to show you the strategy that I use when I defend and why it's a working strategy. Basically, what I do is I'm going to be defending along the ridge in the south. And I'm going to hold off the enemy. They're not going to advance. And in the north, uh, the, the enemy is going to advance through the north and then they're going to come through and uh, finish off the game. But watch the strategy that I use. I use it all the time. Every time I play, it's not hard to do. But basically what I do is the first thing I do is I come out and I try to spot as many tanks as I can. Maybe I will shoot. I often do. But I don't want to risk anything by shooting. See, like there you got a tank uh, aiming back at me. I could easily take a lot of damage at the start of the game. But the key uh, to this maneuver is to stay low. You see how those hills are? And knock down the trees and come up with a multitude of spotting positions. For example, from this tree, you can snipe at anyone that tries to come up to where the TVP is. Me and the TVP, we're going to have kick butt games. In the north, not so much. Take a look at what's going on in the north. These guys will be unable to hold them off because these guys are just going to play like a bunch of numbnuts. So this is a typical example. Now, here's some of the situations. Number one, I am out in the open. This is not good. That's why this tree over here is a lot more important. You really want to uh, be covered as much as possible. I believe what happened was I saw a target... And I decided to go for it. Now the other thing is, there is a vehicle over here which is an Object 277. He's very vulnerable, he doesn't realize it. I did hit that Scorpion G. So the reason why I use the auto-aim is because I have to be hyper-aware of where I'm positioned. So I, I'm like, just use the auto-aim. If you hit, you hit. If you don't, don't worry about it. Now look at where I am right now. You'll note that all I gotta do is make a small movement and I can hit that 277. But right now, even though I'm spotted, he can't hit me. I probably should have gone up that way. Uh, going this way is not the best option, but it is an alternative. You can go the way I'm going right now. Got lots of targets to go for. And I noticed there's another vehicle that showed up. Yeah, I missed a shot on him. Finally knocked a tree down. So the 277 did slip by. Like a ninja. A lot of trees between me and that vehicle. So even if I did fire, probably wouldn't spot me. So we got a new vehicle that was spotted. It's an artillery. He's out of the game. You can see that here in the north, the enemy did um, take over. In this case, I was a little confused about what was going on. Oh, he might have been shooting at that bat chat that's out here in the field. But when you come back to reload, go forward to spot or to fire. Here's another position. You notice that I'm surrounded by a lot of hills. Oh, so sorry. Even though I know that I can't penetrate that vehicle, I fire anyway. If you got the rounds, fire. You know why? Because there are times that you will penetrate. And why throw away the 20% of the time that you penetrate just because you think you can't? So you'll notice that the path that I took was staying low. I went around the hill, and I still got a lot of hills surrounding me. But I really wouldn't go out of this area. I would probably, well, I could, but I'm probably not going to. I'm going to sit here and cry as the game ends. Score is four to seven. I am a little bit concerned, of course, about what's going on, but I didn't realize at this point 
uh, what really happened. We'll go through later and I'll show you what happened. And then we can laugh at some of my teammates. There is a little bit of uh, a packet loss, which is why the vehicle's jumping around a bit. It's not a video recording issue. It is, a, it is not a streaming issue. It's the way I play the game. The vehicle just jumps around a bit. See how I missed that shot? That's from the packet loss. And that was another miss. I got one out of three. Should have been three out of three. But that's what happens with the packet loss. You have a 49% win rate. So here we've got some enemy vehicles that are out in the open. I don't want to go after them. You really want them to come after you. Make them run across that field, of course. Smart thing to do here would be to run, but I am pretty much surrounded, partially. He is jumping around again. That is because of the latency. So we're going to go back to the beginning of the game. We're going to watch what happened in the north. Remember, my strategy worked. We held off the south. The enemy was unable to invade in the south, although the 277 did get through. The north was a different story. And I'm going to point out the M48 Patton. You probably want to pay attention to that vehicle. I'm just going to tell you right now. He's going to run away, and as soon as he sees the enemy, he's going to die. <laughs> so we're going to do it on fast forward. Watch that mini-map. You see, we've got enough players heading in the north, and we've got enough players in, in the south. But I'm watching in the north. You see the Udis along uh, the line of enemy vehicles. There's not a lot of enemy vehicles over here. But the M48, he left. And then we lost a Scorpion. And then the Fosh, he probably went back to reload. But guess what happens? They go after the Udis. The enemy is now rushing in against a Fosh that uh, is probably in the process of reloading. The SPG is vulnerable. The M48, he ran. And as soon as he spots another vehicle, he's going to die. And he's got most of his hit points. The problem is the other vehicle happens to be an autoloader. See, he just got one hit. And now the enemy has flanked us from behind. They've cleaned out the north. The game's pretty even, but the enemy has an advantage. And the uh, M48 was just taken out of the game. And now they're surrounding us. The, the M48 never should have left. It made it easier for the enemy to advance. As you can see, one tank in the right position can hold off the enemy. In our case, it's me. And in the case of the north, it was the Udis. But the Udis got surrounded and outnumbered because he didn't have enough support. Fosh had to reload. SPG has a long reload. Scorpion died, doesn't have a lot of hit points. M48 ran away. My strategy works. When I play in the north, you want to guess what happens when I play in the north? When I play in the north, the enemy invades in the south. They go through the town. They come behind. It's the same exact thing. It's one of the things you got to deal with. If you look at my Siegfried line replays, you're going to see my strategy over and over again. I play it frequently. I tend to play the same strategy over and over in the South. Uh, so on the team, uh, the TVP came out number one for damage, my buddy here. And uh, I don't know who he is. And I came out number two for damage. I did pretty good. Uh, didn't get anything good here. Like, the total crew XP, only 2,900. The last game I recorded was 14,000. It's a big difference when you lose the game. When you lose the game, you get a big hit in values such as crew XP. Moving average damage. I'm wondering if this is for Marks of Excellence. It says 1408. I'm not sure. Uh, anything else interesting here? Uh, I was only hit four times. Okay, that's the game. If you have any questions or comments, please post below. Don't forget, 
If you want to see more gameplay in this location, watch my other Siegfried line um, games, and you'll see I play that position over and over again.